So we're going to be using Sculpt Trees, which is a pretty decent but free program. Very beginner friendly. Uh, we're going to be creating an avatar and uploading it to VRChat without touching Blender at all. Um, we're going to have to download Sculpt Trees. It's a free program. Uh, and we're also going to use Mixamo to add bones to it. You're going to have to create an account there. It's also free. And you're going to have to install Unity and VRChat uh, and create an account for both of those. And there, here's this guide from the VRChat developers on how to set up the SDK to upload an avatar. And this will all be explained and beginner friendly, hopefully. Uh, so starting in Sculptures, we've got to actually make an avatar. Uh, first, we're going to make just the shape, and then we're going to decimate it down to be the right amount of triangles we want, and then we're going to paint it. Uh, so don't worry too much about how much detail you're doing. But just try and get the general shape first, and you can pull it with a draw tool uh, make, to make stubs. You can also use the grab tool. It's a little more effective to um, oops, make sure global is turned off. To pull out these limbs. And if you get weird things like this, this pointy bit, if you get any issues, just use the small smooth tool. See if this is gonna work. Um I'm gonna inflate use the inflate tool to make this a big bigger, and that seems to solve it too. Um Using these tools, mostly the draw, grab, and inflate, you can get the basic shape of the body you want. I'm going to do that again with the head. If you grab it in the middle, it um, uh, makes it in the center. If you grab it on the side, it makes it there. Um, I'm going to do the inflate again to make the head. And all the hotkeys are here or in the documentation. Pretty simple. You can do it mostly just with a mouse. I'm using the mouse. If you uh, want, if you have a drawing tablet, that'll give you some extra uh, extra options. Uh, it'll give you a little more control. But I'm just using the mouse. It should be fine. Just a little slower. Um, I'm going to add the detail now. I have the basic shape I want down. And you can spend a lot of time on this. You can make this very detailed. You can get really good at sculpting. There are, uh, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, you hold Alt to indent. So I'm going to make some eyes. This is the same, uh, the software is made by the same company that made ZBrush, which is like the industry standard for sculpting. So if you get really good at this, you can move on to that. It's a paid program, but uh, I think for VR chat, like this is fine. You can get very detailed. If you have issues like this, try and fix it with a sculpt tool, a smooth tool. Um, and you can just do anything. You can it it adds detail as you draw. So you can just uh, keep changing the shape and you're unlikely to have too much issue. Um, the other thing we can do, we can actually do fingers in this, unlike the Paint 3D tutorial. Um, using the grab tool is probably the best way to do it. You can mix most supports uh, two fingers, three fingers, or five fingers. So uh, for, to keep the tutorial shorter, I'm just going to do three fingers. I've noticed Mixmo is pretty good at figuring out fingers as long as they're not morphed together too much, as long as they're independent. They can be very strange, and it still tends to get it right nowadays. Um, and, of course, it's, I'm using shift, right, or shift middle click to move the camera around and then right click to rotate the camera around. Um, it's uh, all symmetrical now. You can make it non-symmetrical, but that is a one-way street. Um, and again, we're, we're too high on triangles for quest compatibility, but we can always reduce that later. 
in the second step. So um, instead of going uh, into too much more detail, I'm just going to continue with the process to show you the process. Um, let's move on to decimating. So let's say we wanted it quest compatible. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, reduce, click the reduce brush to enable the mode. And then while you can just paint on where you want to reduce it, it's a lot easier to just reduce across the entire thing and keep clicking this and watching the triangles down there until you reach your goal. Uh, you might want to go down to under 10,000 or under 5,000, depending. Um, 72,000 is the, the very poor limit for PC. 20,000 is the very poor limit for Quest. So I'm going to stick with that. And um, the next step after that is the paint. So step three is paint. You only want to hit this. You, want, you only want to go to the next step when you're absolutely done. Uh, 1024, it should be fine. If you want more detail, you can go 2048. That should still be okay um, on Quest. I'm just going to do this for now. Uh, this will take a moment. You're only going to end up with one or two textures for this and only one material. So you can do as much detail as you want in the texturing step. Um, and it's, it's not really going to impact the performance of the avatar at all. You can paint all kinds of detail. You can go with a drawing tablet, get really detailed. Uh, the first step, though, is to pick a color. And uh, this is the saturation slider. Um, this is the dark and light. Uh, you use the saturation to get to white. Um, but just pick a color and click the fill to add the base. Um, and then we're just painting the way you would paint uh, in real life onto something. So just adding detail wherever. Uh, I don't know of a way to paint uh, through the model. You kind of have to go to either side and paint the details you want. But uh, you just keep painting and painting. Um, any details oh yes uh so i made the mouth shaped like this so i could create visemes but in this tutorial we're not actually going to create visemes um the visemes would not be uh there, there's no way to make visemes that i know of outside of blender or similar tools to blender so that's a higher level of difficulty that i cover in the other tutorials so uh Unfortunately, this isn't going to have any eye movement or uh, visemes or even jawbone. Mixmo just doesn't do that. So uh, I just I set it up so I could add those later, but I, I'm not going to bother with this. Uh, the only other detail the uh, out of these tools, these are all the usual painting uh, tools making size of the brush bigger. You can load in uh, textured brushes and paint uh, like that. There's, I'm not going to go into all of that, just the hardness. It's the strong or soft that is. And then the strength is just the opacity. So you can figure all that out. I'm going to move on to the next step. Or actually first, let me show you. You can paint bump. So this is like tiny, tinier details of uh, how high oh, I have invert on. So it's painting. It's 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 sort of like sculpting, but it's only the texture. It doesn't affect the. Uh, I show wireframe for a second. It doesn't affect the mesh at all. So again, you can add tons of detail with this, um, without actually increasing the uh, or decreasing the performance by very much at all. It's a trick that's usually used, but I, d I don't think the normal maps look all that great in VR. But uh, might as well throw in some of this detail just to show you how it works. Um, spend as much time as you want on that and get 
very good looking outcomes if you take the time. Um, and we're just going to stick to one material, so we're leaving that as it is. So that's the bump brush. Uh, we're going to use it to create the normals, and then this is the color. We're going to use it to create the text map. So uh, at this point, I'm going to say I'm done painting, I'm not, and I'm going to move on to uh, Mixmo and Unity. So I have to do three things. I have to export. And uh, I'm going to call it Alien 2 and save text map. Alien2.png, save normals. Alien 2, I have to name this different normal. And the normal is this, this bumpy stuff, just a texture that uh, lets Unity know how deep any part of it is, basically how it should reflect light which you can just skip that entirely depending on what kind of character you want to make. So um, we've saved all three things out of this. So now we're done with sculptures. Um, so I'm going to move on to uh, Mixamo, which is a browser. It's a, it's a website that does all this stuff. If you click characters or animations, it'll take you to this same menu uh, that uh, gives you this upload character button. What you're going to use, you're going to find, um, you're going to find, uh, wherever you saved your OBJ, um, which is what the file format you want to use, uh, for that step anyway. That's what, that's how you export from filter. So this is going to load in the avatar. It's not going to have the texture, but that's fine. You just want to see how it. Uh, affects the body and we're gonna uh, drag these pointers on uh, this is this is what um, these are basically giving hints to Mixmo saying this is where I think the elbow is uh, and that it helps Mixmo figure out how to rig the avatar um, and there's the example if you need it um, Skeleton LOD is explained here. That's just a question of how many fingers there are. You can do no fingers. You can do five fingers, which is this. We're going to do three fingers. I use three fingers. And if you did go asymmetrical, you want to uncheck that. So next, it's going to rotate for a while and uh, figure things out automatically. And that's all we have to do. In terms of rigging, it figures everything else out. It's going to be adding bones that are compatible with VRChat so that it can actually move the mesh, the shape we created, um, like a human would. Again, this works best if it's um, got two arms, two legs, and a head. It looks a little off. I'm not sure why the chest is so compressed. We're going to say that's good enough for now. Uh, you might have to play with it. The more extreme you get in your design, character designs, the farther from an ordinary human, uh, the more weird results you might get. I think it's kind of because um, it looks tilted back. I'm not sure if I, I did that. It seems like Mixmo got it a little wrong. It used to be a lot worse, but it's... It has pretty good results, given that it doesn't require any uh, knowledge whatsoever in very, very little time. Um, so we see it's it's doing animations. It's moving almost exactly how we want it to. Uh, you could import it later into Blender if you know how to use Blender uh, and learn how to fix things like this. But for now, we're just going to say this is good enough. Uh, I'm just clicking on these to preview it. Uh, well, to export it, we're going to want to type in T-Pose into the animations and pick the T-Pose, because that's how we're going to export it to Unity, which is in the next step. I'm going to click Download. Uh, for Format, I choose FBX for Unity. I think any FBX should work, but I picked this just in case, and we need with skin, because the skin is the mesh, the shape we created. The rest is fine. 
and download and it's it's pretty quick. And then now we're moving on to Unity, which again, you have to download separately and install the SDK. I'm not going to show those steps. I've done it already. Uh, here's this avatar I made before uh, using Sculpture is the same process. I'm going to create a new scene and uh, a new folder to put things in. I'm going to call it Alien 2 and go to my downloads and I'm going to drag it into this project folder. So here is the T-posed rigged alien mesh. I also need the textures, uh, which were in my 3D objects folder. I'm gonna drag those both in. Um, so now we have everything in Unity. We just have to set it up for Unity. So if you select the FBX, there's uh, one main thing to do just go to the rig tab you always have to do this when you upload an avatar and change animation type from generic to humanoid and click apply and since it's mixamo this should have no errors i'm not seeing any errors here if it does have errors you have to go into configure and adjust things and i'm not going to show you that because you shouldn't have any issues uh the way it is is fine for the current version of vr chat there used to be some issues nowadays it works very well uh, so I'm dragging this into the scene, and then I'm going to drag the texture onto it. I'm dragging the color texture on, and that will create a material, um, which you can see here. And the normal map I also want to put on. You can see that uh, the colors I made are there. Uh, and you drag the normal app on, you see issues, you click fix now. And now, see that nose detail? Let me try and press F to focus on it so I can zoom in. Okay, well, uh, I'll show you nose detail in a minute. One issue with this process is that it makes it really, really tiny. So uh, one way to fix that is in the model import settings set the scale factor to 100 about should be good there we go that seems like a, a decent size um you can see the the nose detail uh if i had set it to 2048 instead of 1024 when i was creating the texture when i started paint mode it would look a little better it looks a little pixely doesn't look great but you can see that that like eye detail and stuff like that is in there if i had painted all over it would look uh very detailed a lot more detailed than uh what you would think for a quest compatible avatar speaking of quest compatibility there's another step we have to do in order to make it quest compatible is switch from standard to vr chat uh standard light if this doesn't show up in your shaders uh that means you didn't install the vr chat sdk which is part of this guide i showed you um so once you make sure you have that, uh, we've got the model, we've got the rig, we've got the textures, we've got the right shader enabled. Now we just have to add the avatar descriptor. We click add component and type in avatar. It should be the only thing that shows up. And um, since we're not doing lip sync or eye looking or any kind of other complex stuff, we just want an avatar with arms and legs and fingers. So the only step we have to do is set the view position. So we click edit and the view position looks like it's down here, which is at 1.6 meters, which is like the average human's height. So I kind of made it too big. So I'm gonna click return and I'm gonna click this scale button, the scale tool. And I can scale it down in Unity to something that seems right. That little dot is uh, an indicator of where the viewpoint is currently set. So this would be like a five foot nine, all human size. Uh, you can make it bigger or smaller. Just make sure to set the view position to the right place. And hopefully your avatar doesn't have this issue. I'm not sure why I had this issue where it's leaning backwards a little bit, but uh, 
uh, put it somewhere near the eyes or somewhere near the head. It can be inside the head, but that's just placing the view position. So now that's where your headset's going to be. Um, so we've done all that. The only next step is to upload it. So go to VR Chat SDK, show control panel. Uh, you're going to have to log in here if you haven't done that before. And you're going to get a bunch of errors. Uh, you just click auto fix on all the red errors. Uh, and then we're good. Uh, you can look. Polygons is exactly what it was in Sculpt Trees. Um, everything else is just very basic, so it's not going to be a performance issue. And I'm going to click uh, Build and Publish. And it's going to ask you to save the scene. You should probably save the scene. Alien 2. You can cancel out of that if you want to. Um, we're just waiting for it to go to the next step. Um, one of the issues is that with it being so tiny, oh, well, in this case, I made it too big, so the the camera's in the wrong place. So the trick to move the camera is go to scene, move the camera to whatever you want it, but move the, anyway, the scene view camera to wherever you want it, select VRC cam, and then click Game object align with view. And you see in the camera preview, since I have the VRC cam selected, that it's just uh, move the camera to where I wanted it, where my screen was. Um, I'm going to name it Alien 2. And click these and click upload. By the way, if you don't see the upload button, your screen may be too small. You might have to adjust the windows here until you can see the, the upload button. But uh, otherwise, that's the entirety of it. If you want to get into things like Visemes, things like uh, modeling, uh, using different methods, uh, check out the Blender tutorial. Otherwise, I'm just going to check this out in VR chat. And that's all of Sculptures. I really encourage you to play around with all these tools um, to, to make a new one. Uh, just do new scene, new sphere. Um, play around with all these tools. You can get really good at this sort of thing. Uh, there's similar tools in Blender. Um, there's similar tools in other software that cost money. Basically, if you learn this, it's a great starting point that is pretty user friendly that is the skills you learn here as you do trial and error painting things is going to really uh transfer over to other software um but for now it's just about hey you just uh made an avatar you just made an avatar from scratch and it works in vr chat well i hope it works we're about to try and there we go. It's got the detail, got the colors, got the shape, it's got rigging and dance. Uh, perfect. Excellent. Let me see uh, what you make. Enjoy.